As we feared, both the Democ and the Ripopolis have put aside their differences and are preparing a joint effort to push us out of the system. Although we had hoped to bring about a peaceful settlement, them turning against us was not part of the plan. Despite this setback, there is of course no possibility of them succeeding in driving us out. As a result, Admiral Harkov has arranged for substantial reinforcements which should arrive imminently. They will include the escort carrier Tropsabor, bringing several squadrons of ties, and two support ships, the Nebulon B frigate Swift and the strike cruiser Indefatigable. Additionally, Harkov has managed to persuade Sector HQ to give him a squadron of the very latest in new TIE starfighter designs being developed by Admiral Zarin, the TIE Advanced. Though these are still in their early experimental stage, they are immensely superior compared to any of our current fighter designs, with exceptional speed, maneuverability, large missile base, and a shield generator. They should easily outmatch anything the opposing side can throw at us. You will be flying a TIE fighter designated Alpha 2 with 5 wingmen. Your fighter has been specially outfitted with concussion missiles, though with limited space you can only have 4. We expect this to be a full scale combined attack by both enemy factions using the bulk of their capital assets against us. Your primary responsibility will be to defend our capital ships from any enemy fighters making torpedo runs. Once we've destroyed enough of the enemy fleet, we expect the remainder to flee. One way or another though, this conflict ends here. Harkov has managed to get ships with crews previously under his command assigned to him for this mission. Given recent discoveries of Imperial arms and equipment amongst both the Demox and the Ribblebliss, there are suspicions that Harkov himself may be up to something here. Keep an eye out for any other ships that may arrive to rendezvous with Harkov and inspect it. The Demok and Ripopolis are joining forces for one final effort to push us out of the system. They have assembled the bulk of their fleets, which comprise of several heavy cruisers, frigates, and corvettes, along with dozens of starfighters. Admiral Harkov has therefore called in substantial reinforcements to help us turn back the attack. All available squadrons will be deployed to engage the enemy. Your squadron, TIE Fighter Group Alpha, will be tasked with engaging enemy bombers threatening our own capital ships. Our own bombers will launch waves of torpedo attacks against the enemy capital fleet covered by our other TIE squadrons. Harkov has also procured one of the first batches of the new TIE Advanced Starfighter, or Avenger as the test pilots like to call it, designed by Admiral Zarin. This will be their first true test in combat. Once the enemy fleet is broken, we can finally put an end to this conflict and provide peace, order and security for the citizens of this war-torn system. Escort carrier drops aboard, hailing Victory Glass Star Destroyer Protector. We're ready to support you, Admiral. TIE Fighter Group Alpha, stick close to the fleet. Screen our capital ships from enemy bombing runs. They come. Enemy squadrons launching. Let's meet them head on. Thank you. 
aircraft it is. Tie bomber squadron launching. Concentrate on enemy crews. Great shot! Good kill! Wow!
Alpha 2, we've successfully defended the fleet. Return now and refresh your tired advanced skills in the simulator. Alpha 2, stick to your mission profile, please. Your curiosity is going to cause you serious trouble someday. Return to the protector's hangar now, Alpha 2. Message from our mansion. They are about to be destroyed. that has ravaged your planets is over. It is time to lay down your arms. Join us to rebuild all that was destroyed in this savage conflict. Even now, the process of repairing your planets has begun. Superb work! You have successfully helped turn back the combined attack by the Democ and Ripoblis, destroyed most of their fleet without suffering any major losses on our side, and brought about an end to this conflict. With their fleets defeated, both sides will have no choice now in accepting Imperial rule and our terms for a peaceful resolution to this terrible conflict. The TIE Advanced also performed magnificently once we were able to get them on the field. Admiral Zarin will be most interested in the results. It would be wise for you to brush up on your skills by doing some training with this new craft. Overall, you should be very proud of the fact that you helped bring order and stability to this once war-torn system. 
The evidence you have gathered for us has been incredibly important. Shuttle Omlot's passenger was a member of the Rebel Alliance. The individual was apparently taken directly to Admiral Harkov. They have been alone ever since. This is very alarming in light of our investigation into the chronic shortages of equipment reported by Harkov over the last few months. It seems clear he is selling Imperial weapons and supplies to whoever has the credits, even rebel terrorists.